we set up Croydon Works because there's going to be a huge amount of investment coming into Croydon over the next few years. Thousands of new jobs are going to be created, but we want local people to make sure that they have the best opportunity to get those jobs, working with local employers, but most importantly, working with our gateway service and those people really that have difficulties at the moment getting into the job market. Services that we offer to residents um, are access to the opportunities uh, through pathways into employment. We offer work experience placements, apprenticeships, traineeships, um, and also volunteering opportunities. For employees, we offer a fully tailored package. Um, so we, we start right from the beginning, taking down the job requirements. Uh, we'll advertise the vacancy through our networks as well as online. Uh, we'll also sift through the CVs. We also pre-screen candidates for them as well. So we've already got over 124 people uh, in employment uh, through the, the jobs brokerage scheme. And when you think about that, that's people that are coming um, quite often off of benefits into the workforce. That saves uh, money for the taxpayer by getting them off benefits, puts money into the local economy, and is good for them and good for local employers. Well, we've had the full suite of services from uh, Croydon Works. We've had from job fairs and big kind of group gatherings where we can kind of get people together very quickly to sort of targeted interviews and um, sessions, follow-up sessions, training sessions for employees due to come on board with Croydon. So it's been a great service. For us, it's really important to offer opportunities to the local people. But again, this is not just because it's a, a great thing for us to give back to the local economy. It's also because commercially it makes sense. It's really the kind of employees we get through Croydon Works are really highly skilled, they're really good at what they do. I've been out of work for just over two years. Um, and I'd had various job interviews, but hadn't physically got a job. Um, so I was starting to get a little bit frustrated and then getting this job that quickly was just brilliant. Croydon Works um, guarantee an interview if you live in the borough of Croydon. And yeah, so we sort of tweaked my CV, um, sent it in. Um, basically, I got a phone call that afternoon. I got a proper interview on the Monday and then I had two days induction and started, started the job straight away. It's great because it's, you know, it's given me um, obviously money, but it's, it's also given me something that I, can, I, I feel you know, useful again. It is good, very good. So we are part of the employment, Good Employment Charter, and that's when we got to meet the Codon Works, and that's how we started working together. We send them a vacancy that we have, and they help us to actually uh, short uh, shortlist people and they do some of the interviews by you know when we send them the job specification they talk to the people and see which ones are suitable and then they send the people over to us the work that Croydon Works does with the community really sits well with our company because we're, we're thinking we're part of the local community and how can we help a little bit more I feel quite happy because it gives you something to do, you know, like firstly you're getting paid, secondly it's a physical kind of work so you get fit from it and then thirdly your, ha your family's happy that you're actually at work. There's a lot of people my age who don't actually work at all. It's quite hard to find work nowadays. Before when I was applying for jobs and so on through agencies and so on, they may take maybe a few days, three, four, five days, and maybe a week and then they, they take you to jobs that here and there that might be for two three weeks but it's never like a proper contract employer but through this it was within the week I had a, I had a set job. End of my two years over the apprenticeship I would like to complete my course and get my MVQ and become maybe self-employed and have full-time work. My mum and dad feel like very proud because obviously not only have I got a job straight after I left ed education but I'm obviously learning something that can benefit them so if they wanted a new kitchen and that, maybe I could be the person to fit it. You never know. Working very closely with uh, Croydon's in-house social value team, they signposted us to Croydon Works, who they felt could really fit our requirements and assist us in delivering a lot of those social value commitments. So Croydon Works have really helped us to achieve a lot of our key targets. So they've been able to provide us with apprentices on our apprenticeship scheme. They've been able to provide us with numerous people to work on our work experience opportunities that we have. Um, they've also provided us with numerous amounts of staff that we've been able to take on through this contract. And we're constantly looking for new members of staff to join the team. And I think Croydon Works 
without doubt will be our preferred partner throughout the, uh, throughout the contract. The added value of working with Croydon Works is they have easy access to a large area of the community. Uh, they provide a one-stop shop. They're a very uh, good uh, use of resources for us. Um, and they enabled us really to uh, fulfill our, help to fulfill our social value commitments to Croydon. So over the next few years, we want to build on that success, uh, it, probably increase the resources into it. I think because it's doing such a great job and saving the council money, we're getting these people into employment, that we want to build on that uh, further, uh, really working with as many businesses as possible and make it the first port of call for local businesses. And it makes me proud, I think, to work you know, with a council that is not just doing the basics, it's actually going out there and making a real difference to people's lives.